Hello guys, this is Dragonex, uh, and uh, this is uh, StarCraft 2 Zelnaga Caverns uh, PVT action. We have Archangel, who's a bronze player, and we have Karyl Nakus X, also known as GX, which is myself. This is my uh, actual nick for now, at least. This is Karyl Nakus X, this is Archangel. We played with each other, right? Hi, uh, whatever. Okay, let's see what's what's in store for uh, today. Let's see what we what we'll have to see. Uh, so, okay, okay. I guess we have a nice uh, dialogue over here. I will I, I ask the guy whether I uh, whether I played against him already. I thought I did. So this is a <laughs> this is a very interesting thing. Uh, what I intended to do, I guess, was uh, get rid of minerals. I guess that's what I want to scout uh, for. That's what's my problem, obviously. I I used to scout a lot for. What is this guy doing, actually? Well, where is he going? I can't see where he's going. What I wanted to do over here was not get. Uh, I no, he. I guess he wasn't trying to uh, cannon rush me. Let's see what what building he has. No, he wasn't trying to cannon rush me. No, that's that was too late, uh, too early, I guess. So that's good for him. That's good for him. He didn't want to cheese me. Okay, yeah, <laughs> you're not cheesing me. <laughs> I didn't know what he wanted to do. Well, I called him a cheeser already. Okay. Lol. Uh, yeah, that what. That's what. No, he could have cheesed me, but that was. Uh, uh huh. <laughs> I was a very untrustworthy asshole. Uh, so what's going to happen in this uh, match? We'll see. Obviously, I oh I was close to. Okay, I could have built a refinery, and I did so. That's cool. I got, you know, I kicked oh, this and shit. I managed to scout him a little bit. I saw. You no, know, I saw a bit much than he saw. A bit more than he saw, so it wasn't that bad. I this is my good game style, gameplay style. Actually, I go for I still do that sometimes. I play Terran mostly. I go for double racks at the beginning. Obviously, most of you say, "Oh, you're a bad player. You shouldn't be doing that." Yeah, maybe, maybe I shouldn't be doing that, but I'm doing. I also go for engineering bay. Why? This is my tactic. I play defensively in terms of uh, anti-rush which makes me lose which makes me definitely makes me lose a lot of money I skip that here as you can see uh, I changed my plan wait what the f okay that surprised even me I guess I made a mistake <laughs> that was pretty bad okay I as you can see I don't have tech still. I still don't have tech I wanted to put out some uh, marines first so this is this is what I do. I don't want to not have uh, production. This guy doesn't have any production at the moment, which is uh, which is pretty bad considering that he has 500 minerals. He has barely he has no gas at at this point. He so he fucked it up. He he built a pylon, I guess, uh, which was I guess he was attacked uh, from there from this uh, place, which makes sense on this map actually. Uh, to you know, secure the back that makes sense because you know at least you want to get attack this is good for two for spawning units uh, I mean warping in units and for probably putting a cannon sometime in the game uh, just so you could block this shortcut over here that's what he did he put a cannon this makes sense I wouldn't spend I wouldn't count on it when it comes to spending money I just don't think that's a good idea so let's see uh, what about the APM I had uh, advantage uh, with 54, so that was twice the twice the tempo actually, which is what twice the speed, which is you know not bad. When it comes to production, he he has uh, one gateway, and that's what he has. He also he went for uh, warp with research. Obviously, he he was he had a mothership core on the way. Uh, and what's going on here? Yes, that's scouting. It's clumsy, but it's you know at least I'm scouting. So I know what's going on. Why would I build build a uh, helion? Because I I wanted to save some gas over here. This is no joke, you know. 
Mm, okay, I built a com I'm building a command server now, and I'm going to uh, spread it over here. Uh, put it over here. Sorry, um, I was have a supply block, which is very bad. So let's see what's going. I'm actually the second player here. Uh, let's see what's going on. A command center. I have much bigger production than this guy, and uh, I also my. my I also have a better income rate, way better than his. I didn't know what he, he was supposed to do. Okay, I guess I know now. <laughs> I knew it now. I know that he built a photon cannon, so I expected him to build another one. And he he actually has a very interesting ta uh, defensive tactic. He go he's going for offense. But so what I did I didn't know about this part. But he had this very interesting thing going that he will just block all the ways I guess I mean that's not much of a block because I can destroy it easily but this would alert uh, this would alert him uh, on the direction of my attack so he's attacking now and let's see what happens I actually I actually managed to get a mine over here he couldn't have seen it but it no it killed the stalker and did some damage over here now, I didn't know about it so I see it coming now and what's going on here it's a skirmish he man, he did the right thing. He uh, put me in a warp, uh, warp zone. Mm, is it called the warp zone? Oh, time warp. Sorry. So he put a time warp on my ass, but he that didn't help much. So as you can see, Yunus lost. Yeah, he lost more than I did. So I don't have to worry. So it's a good thing that I built this command center, you know, uh, out in the uh, in the base because the main because uh, yeah, he's not doing anything. I guess why would you do anything? Come on, why work? I'm gonna blow up in like 40 seconds anyway. <laughs> I sent another one to work because he was so bad. I guess <laughs> that was funny. Mm, okay, let's see the APMs. I still have an advantage, a big one actually. He has some upgrades. I didn't have any upgrades, and the resources he has more resources than I do. Than, uh, probably because he wasn't spending. I actually went for the armory, knowing that. You know, it's process, so I need some something heavier than siege tanks or, or some shit like that. So I go, I go out here with a siege tank, which is you know against bronze players. Sometimes you don't really need more. No, really, especially with his uh, tactics. Why would you build a variety of units when you can just build? Okay, he went for the robotics bay, and let's see what that means in this situation. I'm just just standing here. Why would I need a Helion? I could make a Hellbat. Although that wouldn't be helpful uh, against Stalkers and uh, and against a Photon Cannon. It makes sense against Zealots, but he, he has only one Zealot. I, as you can see, I decided to scout. So uh, here's the scan. I see his units now. I saw his army. I didn't think that was that much. And I can still, you know, I can still piss him off, attack uh, him off here. Another time warp, which is good. As you can see, this time warp really help, but the, the thing is that you, you need to have the units in order to use it properly. So, this, uh, these defense go out, but I don't have enough production. He actually, I actually have much, much, much gas over uh, at this moment. Yes, and I'm attacking his, uh, his expansion, but I got butt fucked by his stalkers, which is a good, you know, idea to do against uh, against you know siege tanks. Just attack the the back. That's obvious. So, but I still uh, went to you know, fuck with his economy. It wasn't very effective. He yes, he manages to escape. So, so here's the thing: it's better to escape with your probes then keep your nexus alive or anything you have it's just a better way because uh, even though these guys uh, cost 50 a uh, 50 a probe if you have a 10 of them that's 500 minerals so it's better just to build a building and they can uh, you know help you survive i actually scanned for on other bases because i thought that this guy no, we we'll just hide somewhere. I was right about that. That it looked like he was uh, trying to hide over here. That's what they do sometimes. If they you know they don't think they can uh, play play right, he has immortals, which is a good choice against uh, siege tanks, uh, but not a good against marines, obviously. 
it's not terrible against no, no it's not terrible against marauders although they have uh, enough dps to put this shield down at first time but against marines this is just an awful composition of units as you can see uh, marines are very you know, very universal at this time mm, it's not mu much of a pro problem with that i guess so i uh, yes i put it back i put it back into a uh, tank mode and uh, they just try to attack me but they have a lot of they have a lot of fire firepower enough to put me put my tank down but not for uh, not for the rest of my group add me add me okay uh, no problem I'll add you cool cool NP NP no problem peace bro peace bro okay I still I still managed to get some of some of his some of him he yes so against my against my others uh, zealots are up pretty you know not a terrible choice they did they do nine nine damage they're not good enough to battle like group like that though but as you can see like, especially if you had a marine so I have a <laughs> have a stupid army going on I still scout this guy which is uh, I still try to scout which is not a bad idea I knew about his uh, expansion going on I found out about it so he's not safe you know he obviously thinks that you know he's gonna hide from me but I still have a problem getting a death ball okay now that's a death ball now I have a Thor and now with a Thor that would have, that might be a uh, you know, better thing this is like a, the most stupid kind of games really and my army is going this way yes I thought that it would be better to kill his expansion first because he can make some units easily and it's pretty much undefended as you can see he has no units he's like total he has two immortals which is like you know not that much I would have kicked his ass with that with what I have but you know the most important thing is to kill his expansion make sure that he doesn't he wanted to transfer his probes over here but he can't do it because it's it's been bad fucked he's trying to escape again and will I see that he's trying to escape yes I saw that what the heck is he going to do as you can see I uh, am I trying to chase him I'm trying to so what happens here he just puts a shitload of probes into the same point that I wanted to put them but on the other hand that makes them visible that makes them easily visible it uh, turns me um, away from uh, from his main though which is cool and I you know I'm I spend a lot of time chasing these bastards but you know this is not something that you want to do let's see about the losses and he has you know just you know just look at the amount of losses he has like uh, more than two times uh, as much losses as I did which is fucking ridiculous at this point seriously it's ridiculous for him I didn't even need to expand I, could, I should have expanded obviously but I was so busy uh, fighting him and what's he gonna do now I guess nothing he's just blocked from expanding because even though I just go for this death ball I don't do anything special you know though it's bronze so I can just scan the shit out of uh, <laughs> of, the, of these places as you can see I, I had a lot of unspent energy I spent all on scans I managed to finally expand over here which is a good idea it's always good to expa expand if your enemy doesn't expand because you block his uh, his possibilities like that and even if he attacks one of your bases you know that uh, you know he's on the move he's doing something so you can react now he gets a death ball which is pretty much you know, something that he can get away of, uh, get away from sorry I have a nice APM with like 75 it's not great but you know bronze game game so this guy has an actual bronze uh, APM of 30 I have this silver let's say silver APM of 76 over here nice yeah obviously it's nice good god god job no I'd say it's good job thank you very much I have a nice uh, have a nice force attack have you add me look at this uh, grammar this wonderful grammar of uh, archangels the archangel is not going to be very uh, smart very godly or some shit <laughs> look he has he had a nice uh, amount of probes over here it's like how many probes does he have 
if he built something, he could have, you know, if he used them right, he could have done something. There was a lot of possibilities, but I actually managed to get the, you know, get a nice, uh, get ahead of him all the time. So even if you're in low leagues, or should I say, if you are in low leagues, you should do as much as you can to control and be aggressive. If you let the me enemy be aggressive, you lose. And this is not, you know, this is not the best gaming in StarCraft there is, but it's definitely fun. It's always fun. That's why I like, you know, that's why I like StarCraft. It's fun. So, if you enjoyed the game, I, uh, I'd like to thank you very much for watching it, uh, to, to, for staying with me uh, to this point. So, uh, if you want to contact me, then contact contact me at Dragon uh, uh, on Dragon uh, Dragon XPL at gmail.com. Add me on uh, Steam. Add me on Battle.net on Starcraft. Add me on Origin. You have the links in the description. So uh, that's gonna be it from me. So thank you very much for watching. Um, for watching my video and see you in the next one. Bye!